Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. This week, a bipartisan group of U.S. senators, mostly from states where the oil industry is a major part of the local economy, unveiled legislation to eliminate the federal mandate requiring a percentage of corn-based ethanol be mixed into the nation's fuel supply. Other biofuels would be unaffected, but the move ruffled feathers all, in the Corn Belt. Big oil has raised its ugly head again. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley pledged to fight the bill and said farm state lawmakers have been battling the petroleum industry since just after the inception of the renewable fuel standard in 2005. Though year-round sales of E15 was struck down by a federal appeals court earlier this month and the granting of small refinery exemptions accelerated during President Trump's tenure, Grassley expressed some confidence in current Environmental Protection Agency oversight. That's not saying that I can guarantee you that the Biden people are going to be uh, as pro-ethanol as I want them to be, but I don't think we're going to have them finding this balance. The American Petroleum Institute, a trade association for the oil and natural gas industry, weighed in on the Corn Ethanol Elimination Act. The EPA would best serve the public interest by keeping compliance volumes feasible and maintaining program stability by not exceeding the ethanol blend wall. We appreciate the growing recognition that the RFS program needs a comprehensive overhaul to better protect consumers and businesses working to meet fuel demand for various modern engines. Ethanol insiders say similar legislation is teed up almost every congressional session under what they call dubious environmental and economic claims to force de facto negotiation. It's amazing how impervious D.C. is to, to basic facts, right? I mean, sometimes you can say, hey, here's a problem. I think we should solve it this way. I think we should solve it this way. But there should be some basic facts, right? Ethanol reduces the cost of gasoline. Iowa Renewable Fuels Association Executive Director Monty Shaw thinks this go around was spurred by recent congressional attempts to fix the E15 issue. We're used to it, but I, I have a very clear message for them. You know, we're not interested. Right, We will find a way to sell E15 year-round. We've got other, both federal EPA ways and ways that individual states can level the playing field for E10 and E15. For Market to Market, I'm Josh Bittner.